Hello. Welcome to the vlog. Um, it's, I don't even know what day it is. Sunday. Sunday. It's a Sunday and we are now just leaving Cornwall. And we are heading towards the outskirts of Norwich. Um, I'm hoping this is going to be a two charge journey. journey. Uh, sorry. It's been working nights. I've been working nights. I'm shattered. Yeah, so I'm hoping it's going to be a two charge journey. Uh, one at Amesbury and the other one at Baldock. So a BP Pulse and then an Ionity charger. Um, the overall distance is 368 miles. The first leg is 145. Um, it says we should be there by 1520. So anyway, 100% battery. Uh, 100, it was 161 miles in the GOM and um, 144 to do. We may have to come off at Wing Canton before, but fingers crossed, hopefully not. Right, we'll come it's back hot. to yeah, Don't your batteries last longer when it's they hot? They do, they do, but we've got air conditioning and airing running, so, but I have. I've done it before, I've done it to Amesbury before with no problems, so we'll just keep going. We'll come back to you when we get to Amesbury, or if things start to get a bit tight and we have to charge beforehand. So, right, see you then. Oh, what's a noisy bit of road. Um, we've been travelling for about two and a bit hours. And we're just at 50% battery. Um, we've done 89 miles. And we've got 86 miles left in the gone. 58 miles until we get to the charger. So, um, fingers crossed, we should make it with a good 15% charge left. So, anyway, we'll be back. charger at Stonehenge, um, the pile of rocks and it's been, the journey time has been going up, down, up, down, up, down, it's all because of this piece of road, the sooner they do something with it, either go under it, over it, widen it, the better. Um, or just stop telling people that Stonehenge is worth having a look at, for God's sake. It's a pile of rocks, please see one of our other channels. Anyway, we've got 16% left uh, battery. We've done 143 miles and we've got 28 miles on the GOM, 4.9 miles to go. So we should quite happily uh, reach a charger. Right. What was that for in Just in case. So we're keeping up, we're having to pacify the dogs. Uh, and we've also had to ring up and change the table reservation because I thought we'd do it quicker than we did. Forever the optimist. Yeah, forever the optimist. So 12 minutes and we should be there. And I'm just hoping the uh, BP Ooh, Pulse nice. charger is free. If not, there are many others. So, okay, we've passed. Stonehenge, we're 1.3 miles from the charger, uh, we're coming off in 0.4 miles towards Solstice Services uh, and as I mentioned there is grid serve, interval and BP Pulse here uh, and a huge Tesla um, charging station so if you've got a Tesla you're laughing I think there's something like 18 stalls here Tesla which at the moment haven't been opened up to us menials who don't own them so anyway so off the A303 um, you're going back round towards Salisbury itself going back towards Exeter yeah Exeter always 
just like to try and show you the way into these places so you can. Uh, well, there's a Greg's and a Taco Bell. There's a lot of grid serves there, so if we do need. I'm talking about food places. Excellent. You're talking about food, I'm talking about here. Well, I'm assuming that the other people in the uh, vehicle yeah. might want. Yeah, Toby Carvery, we don't want that. We want the. Other times I've stopped here, I've gone all the way round and oh, there is already a car on it, unfortunately, which is not an issue because we will go up and round onto the other one. So, so we were going to use the charger. Actually, at the oh speed up. Um, actually, going to use the charger at the harvester itself. But um, I could see there was a car on it as we came past. So, um, so we'll use the one we normally use, which is this one, which is still a BP pulse. Just means we've got to walk down to the harvester. It's right, it gives the dogs a chance to yes. empty, doesn't it? It does indeed. Right, let's get this going. Get down, get down. Dogs are doing as they're told. Right, let's get this on charge. Okay, there we go. Let's just um, do that. Unplug that and that. Uh, we are a member. Show your card. I'm doing it. We're waiting to get verified. Welcome. Card has been accepted. Let's plug the car in. Select the one we want, which is that one. Is it going to do it? Is it gonna do it? Check, 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 check. Safety check, this is the one that always gets me, it takes forever. Well, it normally comes off a charge with 57 kilowatt in minuscule. There we go. So, 13% and we're off. So, we're walking around into the um, car park by the harvester and um, there was there was a, an MG trophy actually on the charger as we came round but they must have just been coming off of it so there is another 50 kilowatt charger which is um, now available anyway we've got a table booked which Lisa rung up and changed the time, didn't you? I did, yes. Yeah. So we've got a we've got a table book, so we're gonna go and have some food while the car is charging. Uh, and then um, one more charge at Baldock and we'll be at the boat then. The boat, and the boat can't wait. How cute is this look? Our reserved sign. That's got dog paws on it. Wow, that was nice, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that was really nice. So, you had a fat bready thing, and I had and a halloumi flatbread, halloumi flatbread, and I had um, salad. salad, no, and um, chili non carne. So Anyway, we're heading back to the car. It's about an hour and the car is fully charged. I know, don't charge it to 100%. Uh, there you go. All right. So we're actually at 98%, not 100. Oh, that's probably because I've got the air con going. Uh, 
Right, I think we're gonna give it another few seconds in. Right, here we go, 98%, 34.10 kilowatts in one hour and 11 minutes. It's stopped the charge. Excellent. Welcome back. And it's stopped. Flashy flash flash. Go white, that's it, we're all done. Put that back in now. And let's get going. He says, uh, oh dear, trying to do this one handed. One, two, good, let's go. Right, that was a, took us back up to 98%. Uh, we won't go in there, that's a Tesla charger. Uh, Oh, I am seriously, what about you? I am seriously fat and full. Well, you didn't eat anything, so I failed to say that would happen. So, we've done 147.1 miles, 98% in a GOM, 178 miles, no, 178 miles in a GOM, 98%, and 113 miles to the next charger. So, There is charges everywhere, which is really good. Um, it just seems that you guaranteed the charge you want will always be taken. I prefer the BP Pulse charges purely because I had this subscription. Um, now I can't find my card. I put it in my pocket. Um, yeah, purely because I have this subscription just makes it easier cheaper and then we've got I've got the Ionity as well which is why I will be going to the Ionity charger when we get to Bulldog I could probably stretch it a bit further mate. good to see the grid serve chargers are up and running and they are all full right we don't actually need another stop but I'm in desperate need of a coffee so we've come off of fleet services and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug in and while we're getting a coffee is just top up. Ah. It's flashing. Uh, uh, uh. Think hard. Processing payment. Remove card. Card accepted. You're allowed to ch start charging. There we go. Oh, this is grid serve. So this should be pretty, it's setting up communication, it's doing something. We've already got 70 odd percent. We've got 75 percent. Right, I'm gonna go and get a coffee. Literally, we're just gonna stop here for like 10 minutes. Right, so back at the car, literally had 18 minutes and nine kilowatt in, let's stop the charge. Charge stopped. Let's unplug it. Uh, excellent. That then means hopefully no more stops or one very quick minimal stop because this one wasn't meant to be. So uh, let's get going. So we've got 157 miles to do. And that's showing as a shell recharge, it should be an ionity. Interesting. Mm. I don't have anywhere to get my coffee. Well, you can have my Which doesn't fit in that hidey hole. hole. Right. We've done a charge that we didn't really need to do, but um, it should get us all the way to 
our destination, hopefully. Right, let's crack on. So our little coffee stop was much needed. Um, but so we didn't mean to charge, we didn't have to charge, but we decided we probably will do. So, uh, right, 178 miles on the gong, 94% charge, 195 miles done, and 152 miles to do. Right, we have done, well I'm not sure how many miles we've actually done, but we're pulling up an Ionity charger in Heatherset, just outside of Norwich. So, let's get the car on charge because we've got 12% battery left. Right, I've connected. And we change colour and we're charging. That's cool, isn't it? It changes colour when it's charging. Look at that. So we've got 12% and we need to get a bit in just to get us to the boatyard, which is about 15 miles away. I think I probably could have done it. If I'd have pushed it and pushed it and pushed it, I'd have probably done it, but you know, it's running 35 kilowatts. This only maxes at 50. So, right, let's get some charge in this. Oh, 44. Right, uh, what I've noticed, I was trying to work out why um, the there's two bays, but only one charger, but as you can see. There's a plate there waiting for the charger. That one's already got two. And then if you look further down, there are plates there for another two chargers. So this will become, um, this will become six bays eventually. Anyway, this is more than enough to get us to the boat. So we're gonna stop and charge. Look at that. Marvellous. Unplug the car. Walk this all the way around here. And put it away. Excellent. Right, it's back in there. It's about 20 minutes to the marina. And then we shall be on the boat. Let's go. Not that you can probably see us. We are we are at 350 miles down. We've done it. Uh, marina is about a mile away. We're just going through Check Grave and then into the village of Loddon. Where our little boat is moored. We finally arrived on the boat. Say hello. Say hello. hello. We've just arrived. We've had a bit of a journey, haven't we? Um, Lisa, Lisa finds my car uncomfortable, so we're going to have to get some a seat pad because I've got sort of like 
racing seats, bucket seat things. So, but anyway, we've arrived on the boat and um, it's all good. We're going to try out our new cups. So this is Naughty Boy and Naughty Girl. Where do we get these from? Um, we got it from that place just along the way. Oh, um, the Edinburgh Wilm Edinburgh. No, Kerno Mill. Oh, we got them from Kerno Mill. So, anyway, we've arrived. It's ten o'clock ish. Um, yeah, it's hot now. It's hot now. Um, Lisa's been straight in, and made the bed. Um, we've powered everything up on the boat. All looks really good. No smell of damp, which we're really pleased with. Yeah, yeah, excellent. That was, that was nice um, so anyway, right, boat's looking good. Dogs we're gonna have a cup of tea. Dogs are eating. We're gonna have a cup of tea, and then we're gonna get some sleep. It's not near a heater, is it? No. So, yeah. Because uh, I did a night shift, I turned a bit hours sleep and then drove. So, right, we will be back in the morning. Well, we won't be back in the morning. Um, that's it. That's the end of <laughs> that's the end of this vlog for us coming here. Um, I might see how it is, and I probably might do one on the way back. See if we can find some different charges, but. Um, um because you can see a reflection a reflection of me of me of me so i hope you found it interesting if you did then give us a thumbs up if you don't already please subscribe and where are you you're there ring the bell for notifications Excellent. i live a long way away you are a long way away it's a very long boat that's why you're a long way away so anyway thanks for watching bye for now bye.